we are taking a live look over Lake Michigan at Grand Haven. Coast Guard Fest is wrapping up there this weekend, and it's looking like the next couple of days will be great for the beach. And our yeah. Coast Guard kind of guy, Kevin, <laughs> you, you do this every year. You have a plan in place. You, oh, you set yeah. the towels out. You do the parade. You go back. You have a whole, like, set uh, agenda. Do. That's exactly. She remembers it. She, she told me the other <laughs> the day. The bikes. Like, the yeah, Timothy it's Tavern. Great. It's great. It's the a trick plan. Is, the trick is you got to get there early, get a yeah. spot on the beach, put the blanket down, put the, uh, put the uh, umbrella up. And then you take the bikes off, then you leave that stuff there. Then okay. you take the bikes and then you bike <laughs> over the hill okay. and you lock those up at a tree or a stop sign or something. You walk the entire parade because those Fox 17 yeah. oh, yeah. folks do that. And then after that, you know, we're, I think we're 36 in line this okay. year. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. then it ends where the bikes are. You get the bikes, you go over to, <laughs> a shout out to them, Tip of You Tavern. Is you that get the a, nachos? Oh, yeah. You get See? a plate of nachos, you get a cold beer because at that point you need it. Uh, and then you get back on the bikes and then you bike over to the uh, it's a busy park. day, but right it sounds State. great. You can put those back in the car, <laughs> and you're, you're already guaranteed a spot on the beach because you got it earlier in the day. See, now wow. I told everybody my secret, yeah. so now you're going to have, you're gonna have everyone in. following your route tomorrow, Kevin. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I'm not going to be the only Fox 17 person there, so they will be walking in that uh, parade, and uh, that's going to be a fun time. But that's that's the Kevin Craig plan. Been doing that for years. I usually bring my daughters with me, and we have a good time. We're going to start this morning on this Friday uh, looking at radar, everybody, and as we do, you're going to see there's not much going on out there. We are dry, so good news there. Uh, and as we pull out to a little bit wider perspective here, uh, you'll see not even much in the way of cloud cover out there. Matter of fact, we've got uh, mostly clear skies right now. We zoom in and check temperatures, 58 in Big Rapids, 60 in Fremont. We have 66 in Grand Rapids, 66 in Belding, uh, 64 there in uh, uh, Norton Shores. We have 60 degrees in uh, Hastings, 67 in Kalamazoo, and then our southern counties, we are in the low to mid 60s there. So it's a normal morning. 63 is a normal morning low for this time of the year. So we're in pretty good shape there to start. It might feel a little bit on the sticky side, but we're going to lose that humidity, get those dew point temperatures back into the 50s as we progress on through the day because we're going to have a northerly wind that'll bring in a drier air mass. So today, sunny and warm, pleasant. Temperatures in the low, maybe the mid 80s. We'll have a northerly wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. If we look at future track, there's nothing going on here. Even as we go through the day, Going to see mainly mostly clear skies with a fair amount of sunshine. We'll see clear to partly cloudy skies overnight. And then as we go through Saturday, I expect a little bit more cloud cover on Saturday. It's probably not going to be a clear blue sky. We'll see some of these high and mid-level clouds beginning to stream in ahead of our next weather system. But we still expect dry conditions. So Friday and Saturday for all of our events, including the Coast Guard Festival, should be in pretty good shape. I will tell you this. I just told you that long story uh, about what we do and how we walk the parade there. Uh, in Grand Haven. Over the last couple of years, it's been up around 90 degrees and it's been very hot. This year, it's not going to be that hot. It'll be a little bit better. Take the sunscreen. Uh, don't forget some water, but I think we're only going to be about 80, 82 degrees at the immediate lakeshore there for the parade there on uh, Saturday, tomorrow there. Otherwise, this is Saturday at 6 p.m. This system moves a little bit closer, and by the time we get into Sunday morning, it is possible that this could start to fling a few showers our way, but the better chance is going to be as we get into the late afternoon in the evening hours with that low pressure area and that warm front that sets us up for the possibility of some strong to severe storms. This is just one track of the low. Other forecast models have the tracking over northern uh, Lake Michigan, which would put us squarely into the warm sector. Well, so we see how that shakes out. But I will tell you already from Muskegon to Grand Rapids down to Jackson and south and west of there in that uh, yellow area, that's a slight risk. Level two out of five already for Sunday during the afternoon and evening for maybe some stronger to severe storm, so we'll watch that. 85 degrees today. If you're going to the Whitecaps game, that first pitch comes out today at 635. It'll be 82 degrees there, 79 at 8 p.m. and 75 at 10 p.m. Uh, tomorrow looks pretty good, maybe a little bit more cloud cover, 84 degrees there. And then on Sunday, we've got temperatures around 82 degrees with the possibility of stronger to severe storms. Wind will be a moderate threat there. Could see some 60 mile per hour wind gusts flooding between Sunday and Monday. Could see a couple of inches of precip hail and and 
then an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. As we fly the rest of this in, rain looks uh, like a good bet off and on on Monday. Total precipitation, we'll look at two models, uh, the least of which is the European model, only less than an inch. I think that may be a little underdone. I think the GFS model and other forecast models are showing a solid one to two inches, maybe even a little bit more between all of our area there on Sunday and Monday. So that's what we're thinking at this point. Tuesday and Wednesday look dry. Temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. That's our forecast. Let's check traffic. Here's Candace at 648.